when you see the hand slide, you know some magic about to happen. All right, so one of my subscribers asked me about a week ago. He was having trouble keeping women he date to respect him at all times. Now, you know, guys, this is a, a common occurrence right here. This is something that happens a lot. Now, this is a thing where a lot of you guys got to understand. Your girl is not your homeboy. And what I mean by that, guys, when you round your woman, you got to be in your swag and seductive mode at all times. It's not like you out hanging with your boys, being goofy, playing around, fucking around. I'll give y'all guys an example. I told you guys I train uh, people in New York City. I'm a personal trainer in New York City. And from time to time, I'll get to joking around with my clients and, you know, playing around with them too much. And then I tell them to do something, then they start bucking. Now, you see why they started bucking? Because I was just playing with them. So now they get defiant because I was just kidding around with them. I'm the trainer, they're the client. You can't play around with them because I'm asking them to do something. I need them to respect me and to do it. That's the same thing with your girl. You're the man, she's the woman. You shouldn't be in a goofy state when you're with your girl. You always got to be in your masculine. Now, I know we all like to cut up and act silly from time to time. And if you're feeling like that, call your boy over and y'all can go out and have some drinks and y'all can cut, cut the fool and act silly and all that shit or whatever. Uh, but when you with your woman, it's a little shit like that. That's like feminine energy almost. Now, you can be funny, but you got to be charming and funny. You can't be where you like goofy and too playful and shit like that. Just think about if any of you guys got kids, because um, I was raised in multiple households growing up, and we grew up with the, uh, a strict auntie, and we grew up with the playful auntie. Me and my brother did from time to time. The strict auntie, she never played with us, and we respected her at all times. And the more laid back auntie, she was more, you know, happy go lucky. And we constantly bucked. We constantly didn't, you know, do our come in curfew. We constantly would do whatever, whatever she said, we do the opposite of. We didn't respect her because she played around. She joked with us a lot and shit like that. So we didn't respect her. But the, the hard nosed auntie, she never played. She was stern. And we respected her at all times, and we ain't buck at all. And that's the same way it is with your girl. You got to be in a masculine energy at all times. None of that silly, goofy shit with your girl. If you want to act silly and goofy, call up your boys and go out and y'all have some beers and shoot pool and, and you can cut, a, cut loose and just act silly. Now, on another note, another thing why a girl won't um, lose respect for you is because you start passing her test. The guys... The women tests are subtle and you got to, you know, I'm going to make a test, uh, a video about shit tests so I can get deep into that. But women test constantly all day, every day for the most part. Now, when you asking masculine and stuff like that, they didn't, they don't test too much. But when you acting goofy or silly or very playful, they constantly test. And you got to be able to pass those tests. You got to be in a masculine energy at all times. And another thing, guys, when you with your woman, and, I, and I'm not saying a girl you date, I'm talking about a girl you dating regularly, let her initiate all physical contact. Because you initiating uh, physical contact is you seeking her validation. Something like that is one reason why she'll start to lose respect for you. Because you acting a little insecure. See, you trying to touch her and feel her, uh, you know, grab her, or put your arm around her, or kiss her, it's like your way of saying, I don't know if you like me right now, so let me check to make sure you still liking me. It's like I'm unsure of myself, so I need to seek validation. So let me grab your hand and make sure you still love me. See, little shit like that. Let women negotiate, uh, initiate all physical contact. You don't grab no hands. If she want to kiss, let her come kiss you, but you don't initiate none of that. See, when you initiate stuff like that, women don't look at it like, oh, he wants to be intimate. Women look at it like, Oh, uh, he getting a little he getting a little insecure. He unsure of himself, so he's trying to kiss me to make sure I'm still feeling him. That's how. And some guys are insecure like that. Let the women initiate uh, contact. Now, if this is a girl on the first or second date and stuff like that, that's different. But I'm talking about a woman you dating. The woman you dating constantly, and even if you out on the first or second date, you still want to let a woman initiate the contact. Now, if you get back, say it's the first or second date, and y'all at the house. 
Well, obviously, you got to make the move. So she ain't going to initiate shit then. But I'm talking about a girl that you just dating and y'all walking down the street. You don't reach out and grab her hand. It's little shit like that that make a woman think you soft. So don't do that. And, but the main thing you guys need to understand, you need to always be in a masculine frame. This is not your homeboy. This is your woman. To keep her in a, her feminine energy, which means her not ask, acting ma masculine, bucking up, not doing what you ask, or being defiant, you need to be in a masculine energy, which means you're not joking and playing around with her. You could be funny, but you be charming funny. You don't be silly funny. It's two different things. Always want to be in a masculine energy. That's going to keep your woman and her feminine energy and the polar opposites connect because you masculine and she feminine. You start acting feminine, silly and goofy and shit like that. That's going to put her in a masculine energy and she's going to get defiant and it don't work that way. You got to always be in a masculine energy. All right. Like, comment, subscribe. Hope this helped a lot of you guys out. You got to stay in a masculine energy, sexy, swag energy. You can be funny. You can say something funny, but you don't act goofy. It's two different things. Like, comment, subscribe. Holler back.